Welcome to another edition of The Point Podcast. And we've been in a series called Struggles. And we're talking about everyday struggles that all of us have to deal with and trying to look at some solutions on how to get better with those struggles in our life. And I want to talk to you on today that everybody has to deal with. Now, quick question to get started. What's the difference between someone who is a believer, a follower of Christ, someone who's fallen radically in love with Christ, and someone who isn't? We live in the same city, same state, on the same planet. Okay, we're, we're, we're seven days a week, 25 hours a day, all trying to move forward in life. So what's the, the difference in us? It's that we have the Holy Spirit. Our body is the living temple of God. That's exactly what it says in 1 Corinthians 6. <clears throat> Let me read this to you. Verse 19. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. This is the living temple of God, our body. The Holy Spirit dwells inside of us. But we live in a fallen world. In fact, we live in a world that seems destined to do everything it can contrary to the Word of God. As believers, we have to live in the world, but we don't have to let the world live in us. Here comes the struggle. As believers, we have the Holy Spirit, but we also have our flesh. Our flesh is going to drive us to do the very things that are contrary to the Word of God. Now, make sure you understand where I'm going. Yes, Pastor Dean Herman is filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes, I am radically in love with Jesus. But if I feed my flesh more today than I do feed my spirit, the Holy Spirit, it's going to drive me to do things contrary to the word of God. So let's just talk for a second. Ways that we feed our flesh. What are we watching? What are we listening to? Who are we hanging around with? What's the environment that we've placed ourselves within? What are we looking at on our phone for hours? Are you feeding your flesh or are you feeding your spirit? How do you feed the spirit? It's the same thing. Are you feeding yourself with the word of God by what you're watching, what you're listening to, who you're hanging around? I don't want this to sound over spiritual, but, but the people ask me, okay, so what do you listen to, Dean? So, so, so what? I, I listen to podcasts of people teaching the word of God. And not just people that I agree with, but other views also. I love learning more about the word of God. I am trying to feed my spirit. I listen to Christian music. You know, sometimes it can be tough to find stations. So I'll go to Spotify or something, but I love to worship while I'm driving. It's feeding the spirit. And I've come to a point in my walk with Christ that I can't watch or listen to the things that I used to because it offends the spirit. I want to read something to you from Romans 8. And I want to make sure you hear this. As a believer in Jesus Christ, someone who is filled with the spirit. This is Romans chapter 8. I want to start with verse 9. Let's go to verse 5. For those who live according to the flesh, in other words, feeding your flesh, they set their minds on the things of the flesh. You're thinking about the flesh. You're thinking of yourself. You're thinking of the things of the world. But for those who love, live according to the flesh, they set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the spirit set their minds on the things of the spirit. One of the ways that you can really figure out if you're feeding the flesh or feeding the spirit is by the things that you're thinking about. When you think about things of the flesh, it's going to feed the flesh. If you're thinking about things of the spirit, it's going to feed the spirit. Keep going, verse six. For to set the mind on the flesh, please listen, 
is death. Now, this doesn't mean like physical death is referring to a spiritual death, is death. But to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. Sometimes when I read this verse, I wonder, because I see so many people who claim to be Christians and there's no peace. There's no happiness in their life. It's, it's all strife and misery. Could it be because all they're doing is feeding their flesh? For the mind that is set on the flesh, this is verse 7, for the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God or does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it can't. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. If you are living and feeding the flesh, it's not going to please God. It's going to take you a place that you don't need to be. Finish with this. You, however, you, a child of God, filled with the Holy Spirit, are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If, in fact, the Spirit of God dwells in you, if you, I, I really don't want to worship. I don't want to read the Bible. I don't want to talk about Jesus. I don't want to do the things of the, the feeding the Spirit does. That's why he says, if, in fact, because those things should be things that we desire because the Holy Spirit is in us. Anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. So, not, not just that we have a struggle of we live in a falling world and the world is screaming, feed the flesh, feed the flesh, feed the flesh. But what should we do as believers? Remember, we have to live in the world but we don't have to let the world live in us. What are some things we can do to begin to take the flesh out of us and put more of the spirit in us? I know people probably get tired of me saying this, but here's the truth. The word of God. You can't look at your phone or Netflix or whatever the things of the world you're doing. Yes. Five hours and then give God's word five minutes and expect the spirit to overpower the flesh. You've got to spend time in God's word. Number two, you've got to spend time in worship in King Jesus. And worship can come in a lot of forms. I, I'm in my truck and I'm singing my guts out. People probably think I'm, I'm, I'm weird. I love to get in my hot tub, take my phone and set it out there and let worship go. And I sit out there and look at the stars while the hot water is rushing on my back. And I'm, and I'm just praising King Jesus. It's you find your own way. There's times I love to go for a walk. And while I'm walking, man, I, I've, got, I've got music playing. I've got a party. I'm just praying. That I'm feeding the spirit. I get up early every day and spend time in God's word. That's feeding the spirit. You've got to make the decision of what you're going to feed and what you're not going to feed. Another way is by the people you hang around. Now, make sure you understand this. I love hanging around people who are not filled with the Holy Spirit. I love to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. But they're not who I hang around most of the time. People who are in my life are believers. And we talk about the things of God. We share what God's doing. I love talking to other pastors and hearing what God's doing. It feeds my spirit. I want you to think about what you're feeding today. Are you feeding more of the flesh? Or are you feeding more of the spirit? Please hear my heart. This is a struggle that we have to deal with every day of our life. And the more that you feed the spirit, the more you desire to feed the spirit. But the more that you feed the flesh, the more the flesh is going to desire to take your life over. You get up over more. You literally have to make the decision. Am I going to please the world? Or am I going to please King Jesus? And it's a struggle that we have to deal with every day. What's the point in all this? If we're a believer of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit dwells in us. It shouldn't be a have to. It should be a want to. To feed the Spirit of God. In order to be a better child of God. To do the things of God. Till next time.